What's up everybody? Hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome back to your new daily Bitcoin update. Um, if you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. Basically what we're doing and basically what I've been doing for, for quite some time now is every day <clears throat> the first video I make is a video on Bitcoin and also one on Ethereum after this. Um, but yeah, I just think it's uh, I think it's valuable to actually take a look at those bigger cryptos. A lot is correlated with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, that means that the market kind of moves along with them, and it also gives a gives a great sense of how the market is doing. Uh, such as today, the market is actually we had some some nice bullish momentum heading off of the twenty thousand uh, dollar support level. Volume has increased too to thirty two billion. That's actually quite a lot for for Bitcoin. Um, it's a, it's about 8.3% of the market cap in volume. That's all good. Um, however, I mean, this was my analysis yesterday and the day before that. Um, in my opinion, the analysis hasn't really changed. What we said yesterday too is that I, I, I would see a possibility of staying on top of 20,000 for a little bit longer and even getting some bullish momentum. I don't expect something like this or I didn't expect something like this. I might be wrong on that. Um, all right, we, we, we might just have another one of those. So we might just have something like this and then another lag down, down to 19,000. That is possible. Um, at this point, I, I think it's too early to really assume that. <clears throat> but what you can see is that if we just take a deep dive into the price of Bitcoin, uh, what you can see is that we first found resistance at the 28 EMA at uh, $20,400. Found some resistance, but immediately bounced back. Uh, and now we hit our, our first real resistance around 20,500. Um, I think we can reach a little bit further into that level, but I don't think we're breaking above 20,900, at least not soon. Um, if we really keep up this bullish momentum, then maybe I have to adjust my analysis. But for now, I'd say we'll, we'll just consolidate between uh, 20,000 or a little bit under 20,000 uh, and 20,900. I mean, if we would want to get bullish with Bitcoin, uh, which, as I said, I'm not expecting, but uh, fundamentals could always change. Um, then we would need to break above 20,900. If we break above 20,900, then we'll instantly get up to 21,700. And then we actually got a lot of bullish momentum. Um, for now, it just seems short term. I mean, obviously, from, from, from this bottom, it's a nice move. It's about it's five percentage. It's, it's not a lot to... Um, as I said, so I think we'll go up a little bit higher, up to our 20,700, 20,900. But from there, I do expect that we'll drop down again uh, and kind of consolidate until uh, we get a big drop down to 19,000, which I still expect. So the uh, general analysis hasn't really changed, but I did want to add some insights and add some details on how I think it's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I mean, something like this could still be could still be could still be a play could still be in the mix but it's as i said it's it's too early to really say that right now um something like this we would need to at least um or we would need to like stay here up until the third of the september which is possible um yeah that is possible but for now let's not assume this but i will be back other days as i said it's the daily bitcoin update um, but for now, that's my analysis. So yeah, if you do have any questions about the analysis or about anything I said, or if you have any questions about Bitcoin, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.